Today we are going to discuss about developing smart objectives. Smart objectives that is smart stands for specific, measurable, attainable or achievable, relevant and time bound. One of the effective way to develop well written objective is to use approach that is known as smart. Developing a specific measurable objective requires time or early thinking and a clear picture of the result expected from the program and planning activity. The more specific your objectives are, the easier it will be to demonstrate success or attain success. So why we have this SMART objectives as specific? What exactly are we are going to do in our plan or program? The specific part of the objective tell us what will change, for whom in concrete terms. It identifies the population or setting and a specific actions that will result. In some cases, it is appropriate to indicate how the change will be implemented through training, coordination, partner support facilitation enhancement in order to attain the planning goals on the other hand such as training publishing increasing decreasing or schedule all these can be implemented while planning so we have to be specific what objects uh, what material we have to publish in the newspaper what we have to train the local participant and so everything has to be specific measurable the objective should be measurable measurable implies the ability to count or otherwise quantify an activity or its result it also means that the source and the mechanism for collecting measurement data are identified that collection of this data is feasible for your program and development in case of planning if we can say that if we have the target of housing for all then for in next five year we will plan to achieve at least 30 percent housing providing housing to those who are affordable who can afford housing or those who don't have proper housing so there should be a baseline measurement is required for document change so first we have to assess what is the current scenario of the housing and then we can project. Then it should be attainable or achievable. So the objective must be feasible within the available resources, appropriate limit scope and within the planning control and influence. So if we want to provide 100% housing and if you have very large number of poor housing then we cannot do it in within five years so we will need a very long term planning so we can attain only say 10% 20% of the required housing it should be relevant will this objective have an effective on the desired goal and a strategy the relevancy relates to the relationship between the objectives and the overall goals of the program or planning. Evidence of the relevancy can come from literature review, best practices or the theory of change. So we can see that how good towns, how some towns have implemented housing programs successfully and what was their expenditure, how they had done it within a limited resource so it should be also town time bound a specific and measurable time frame should be incorporated within the objective statement this should take into consideration the environment in which the change must be achieved the scope of the change expected and how it's fit in overall work plan so if we want to say we want to have this planning done so most of the our plan you will find that it is five year plans 20 year plan 25 year plans so there will be a time bound time limit 
So first of all, we have to write smart objectives and then we have to discuss among our peers, our stakeholders. Then we can do a good planning. Thank you. Thank you for